Hello everyone, this is Colin once again. Um, I'm making this quick video just to clarify something about a hadith that has been shown to me. And the hadith is found in Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7. Uh, it's the book on, on the wedlock, on marriage. And it is found in Chapter 39, and it is... Uh, we're talking about, well, one's in Chapter 38. It's Hadith number 5132. The other hadith is chapter is under Chapter 39, and it's uh, the information that happens, be that's stated between Hadith 5133. Now, I know that might have confused a lot of you, so I'm going to try to explain. Um, the thing is, I'm going to read the Hadith as it appears, and I'm going to post a link in the description section to how, to, how it appears on most online Hadith databases and uh, also how it appears in certain um, Hadith programs as well, because I uh, made the mistake of assuming that this Hadith uh, was altered in some way by uh, Muslim haters. And so for, uh, for the people I have accused uh, or assumed, I apologize uh, for that, that I assumed that they were getting this from a hate website. Now, we're going to come back to the haters in a moment. Because the haters still use this hadith in a perverted way, but uh, we'll come back to that. First, this is what the hadith says, and I'll post again the links in the description section. Uh, it says, narrated by Za Saul bin Zad, when we were sitting in the company of the Prophet, a woman came to him and presented herself for marriage to him. The Prophet looked at her, look, lowering her eyes and raising them, but did not give a reply. One of his companions said, Marry her to me, O Allah's messenger. The Prophet asked him, Have you got anything? He said, I have, no I have got nothing. The Prophet said, Not even an iron ring. He said, Not even an iron ring. But I will tear my garment into two halves and give her one half and keep the other half. The Prophet said, No. Do you know some of the Quran by heart? He said, Yes. The Prophet said, Go, I agree, to marry her to you with what you know of the Quran by heart. Now, this hadith, this same hadith, is narrated eight, eight times in Sahih Bukhari. It's narrated eight times. The same hadith, different wording, but it is narrated in, uh, in Sahih Bukhari eight times. The only case with which we have this confusion occurs in one narration found in Sahih Bukhari. And if you look at the online... Um, if you look at the links I've provided after what I just read to you, because notice, first off, notice that there's an end quote. That's it. End quote. That is the end of the Hadith. Yet, in a lot of online uh, editions of Sahih Bukhari, the, they have the Hadith continue, but if you pay very close attention, there is no new quotation. In other words, this is not saying that the Prophet Muhammad is saying the following words. Okay, if you if you understand how to read English, you would know that 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 is true. But the next phrase then says, uh, "And for those who have no monthly courses, i.e., they are still immature, as in Quran 65:4, in the idda for the girl before puberty is three months in the above verse." So. In the uh, online collections, they will sometimes, they will, they, apparently they include that last part. The problem is, that's not part of the Hadith. And how do I know this? Well, because I own Sahih Bukhari. I, I own the book, translation. And the person I was discussing this with um, said that they were using, that they were referencing the, the apparently the online source was using the, uh, the, the translation by Muhammad Mushin Khan. Well, I have it in book form. I, I I own it, you know. And what's unique about this, you won't find this on the online. On the online is that you have the Arabic. You can see the Arabic original, next to the English, and that's important because the the nature of the Hadith, uh, even according to the original Arabic here. So this is what Imam Bukhari. This is the original Arabic. It is divided, the Hadith is divided, the Hadith, excuse me, Sahih Bukhari, his collection, is divided into volumes, books, and then chapter subject matter. So you would have, for example, volume 7, which I have here, the book on wedlock, chapter subject matter. For an example, this one here is chapter 39, okay? That's chapter 39. 
and it tells you what 39 is it's giving one's young uh young in marriage is permissible and that is the divider that's to divide the subject matter so the hadith i just read to you takes place before the divider and for those of you who might not believe me that it's in the arabic right there uh here that is in bold that is the dividing subject matter you can see it side by side there all right the bold arabic print and the bold english is the subject matter so the hadith that i just read to you with the exception of the last phrase it actually just ends with i agree you to marry her because you know the quran you know that part of the quran by heart that's the end of that hadith because that hadith belongs to chapter uh, 38, which has its own bold subject matter divider. So then chapter 39 takes place after this hadith. In fact, what's fascinating is that the Arabic of the hadith that is about the, mar the marriage is above the bold subject matter. See that? So the English just doesn't even go to the next page, but that is that would be the Quran because you know the Quran by heart. You can marry her. Then you have the bold subject matter, the next divider, and the next divider says this: by virtue of the statement of Allah, and for those who have no monthly courses, i.e., they are still mature. Chapter five, chapter sixty-five, verse four, and the idha for the girl before puberty is three months in the above verse. Then it says Hadith five one three three. So this is the hadith that has to do with this chapter's subject matter. Narrated by Aisha that the Prophet wrote the marriage contract with her when she was six years old and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old and she remained with him for nine years, i.e. till his death. So the point I'm trying to make here is that for some odd reason, uh, the online hadith databases and the um, hadith programs have essentially they what they do is they quote hadith 5132 up to the end of it but then they skip the chapter heading divider subject matter and then they have this random explanation this this little introduction here that mentions chapter 65 verse 4 and it quotes that verse and explains uh, that and it mentions idda but what's fascinating is that in my text of the hadith here, my collection that I have in book form, this, this uh, mentioning of chapter 65 verse 4 is not in quotations. The prophet is not speaking those words. It's not part, it's clearly not part of the prior hadith. So I wanted to make this video because also in the description section I'm going to post a link to my blog because the article that I have featured on my blog was written by uh, an author from Answering Christianity, and it's so ironic because in his article, he mentions this very topic. He mentions that that some, either by accident or what have you, uh, you have this occurring. But what's fascinating is this, this proves that for the haters, they are not going to the source. They are, they are not bothering to either check out the printed format or what have you. And I'm not saying everyone has to go out and buy Sahih Bukhari, but I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that you should be careful what you see on the internet. You should be careful when someone is quoting you a hadith or a verse from whatever source and double check and see if it actually matches up to the original Arabic of the text itself. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope this has been informative. I'll be posting the proper links in the description section to the hadith in question. Oh, actually, I'll just post the hadith uh, in question. The link to my blog, which has an article that explains and refutes this same subject along with some others. And the link to my video that talks about chapter 65 verse 4 for those of you who are interested. Thank you everyone for watching. Peace be with you all.